One night at Camp Blackfoot, several campers pull a prank on Prop C, the camp's alcoholic and abusive caretaker, by setting a worm-riddled skull with candles in the eye sockets next to his bed. When the caretaker is awakened by the campers banging on his window, he gets frightened by the skull and accidentally knocks it onto his bed, starting a fire. The flames reach a gas tank, which ignites Cropsey in his cabin. He runs outside, engulfed in flames, and stumbles down into a river as the boys flee. Despite his horrific injuries, Cropsey survives. Five years later, Cropsey is released from the hospital despite dealing with failed skin grafts and wears a coat and hat to hide his disfigurement. A prostitute lures him to her apartment, where he stabs her with scissors in a fit of rage. He then arms himself with a pair of pruning shears and sets out for another summer camp, Stonewater. There, the counselors and campers are playing softball when a camper searching for a lost ball in the woods narrowly avoids Cropsey. The next morning, a camper named Alfred scares Sally as she steps out of the shower. Her screams bring the attention of counselors Michelle and Todd, and campers Karen and Eddie catch him. Michelle is furious at Alfred and demands that he leaves, but Todd talks to him. He learns that Alfred has no friends and was merely pulling a prank on Sally. Sally's boyfriend Blazer confronts Alfred, but Todd gets him to back off, and the latter apologizes to Sally. Alfred spots Cropsey outside his window that night, but nobody believes him. The following day, the campers are brought by Todd and Michelle on a canoe trip down to the River Devil's Creek. After Todd tells them about the legend of Cropsey, Karen and Eddie go to a lake to skinny dip. He leaves upset when she reconsiders having sex with him, and Karen leaves the lake to find her clothes scattered in the woods. As she collects them, Cropsey slashes her throat with his shears. The next morning, Michelle finds Karen and the canoes missing. Eddie, Fish, Woodstock, Diane, and Barbara search for the canoes on a makeshift raft. They spot a canoe and paddle to it, but Cropsey ambushes them by jumping out from the canoe and savagely murders them all with his shears. Blazer has sex with Sally in the woods but suffers premature ejaculation. When he leaves to get matches for a campfire, Cropsey shoves his shears into Sally's chest. Her boyfriend returns only for Cropsey to stab him through the throat and pin him to a tree. Alfred witnesses his death and wakes up Todd, but Todd is rendered unconscious by Cropsey, who then chases after Alfred. Meanwhile, Michelle finds the mutilated bodies on the makeshift raft and brings the remaining campers back to the camp to contact the authorities. Todd regains consciousness and chases after the killer with an axe. Cropsey grabs Alfred inside an abandoned mineshaft and pins him to a wall with his shears. Todd discovers Karen's body and sees Cropsey armed with a flamethrower, where he begins to remember being involved with the prank. He is attacked by Cropsey, who reveals his disfigurements, and Alfred frees himself to stab him with his own shears. Before they can leave, Cropsey reappears, and Todd ultimately slams the axe into his face, killing him. Alfred ignites his body with his own flamethrower, and they make their way outside to Michelle, who brought the police with her, as Cropsey's body burns away. At a campfire, another group of teenagers is seen retelling the story of Cropsey, 